CES coverage sponsored by Lexar Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. See tpn.tv for Lexar advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. Hi, this is Carissa O'Brien with the Tech Podcast Network at CES 2011 in Las Vegas. And I'm here with Scott from Intel GE Care Innovations. It's a new company, correct? That's correct. Uh, we went live uh, earlier this week. Uh, we've been working with GE for some time now, or Intel's been working with GE for some time, uh, but the company actually went operational on Monday. Very good, so uh, a new uh, innovative project for, for GE to bring more healthcare solutions to the market, which is great. Yes. Very good, so tell us a little bit about what you have in your hand right now. This is an Intel Reader? This is the Intel Reader. This is a product that's aimed primarily at folks with um, vision impairment, so low vision blind, or learning disabilities, so basically folks that have uh, an, an issue with reading. Uh, what we can do is we can, with this with this uh, device, it's handheld, portable, allows us to take a picture of pretty much any uh, printed text and then convert it via OCR software uh, and speech to text back to um, a, a text that can be read back to the individual. Very good. So let's get a quick peek at it and see how it works. Very good. So we actually have a brochure here that's um, it's been provided by GE as part of their uh, CES handout. And what we're going to do real quick is we're just going to take uh, just a quick photo um, of the text itself. It's sitting right now on the capture station. Um, so what we can do is the capture station is provided to do really a couple things. It allows us, if we've got somebody that's uh, vision impaired, um, they can very easily just place the content with anywhere inside this larger box here. Hit the button, it's going to autofocus, and it's going to take a shot of the, of the paper and then process it into text-to-speech. I'm actually going to just go ahead and do it from, from the camera itself. It's going to take a photo. And we'll go ahead and process it real quick. So it takes about 15 seconds for this to process mm -hmm. and, and turn it into uh, to text-to-speech. We do a couple things. We actually um, we'll convert this we'll convert this from um, from a bitmap that's, that's taken with the camera into a JPEG, so you can actually view an image of the sheet. So in the event that you're uh, ta capturing a textbook, if there's images in there that you want to see that's relevant to the um, the text that you've captured, you could go back and review it. Um, Very good. And uh, what is the price point on this product? Price point on this product is uh, right now it's a special price of eight ninety nine if you buy one unit, seven ninety nine if you buy more than one unit. Okay. And Are you be through the end of January? Very good. All right. So let's uh, let's take a peek down the road here. We okay. got uh, the Quiet Care. Tell us a little bit more about that. Okay. So Quiet Care is um, basically going to be a remote monitoring of uh, assisted living. Communities. So what this allows is for caregivers and assisted uh, living communities to, in a non-intrusive way, kind of monitor the activity of folks within inside uh, an assisted living apartment. So it learns general patterns of behavior um, for the people that are living in, in the uh, institution. So for example, if grandma gets up every morning at 9 a.m., watches TV at 10, and takes a shower at 11, we know that. And if she deviates from this pattern, then an alert can be sent to a caregiver. So rather than someone going and knocking on our door every morning and asking her how she's doing, we can give them a little more independence and a little more dignity. And in the event that there's an exception, then we can go in and check. And really, you're creating some independence for the caregivers too, right? Absolutely. And by enabling them to sort of remotely monitor and and know that their loved one is, is safe and, and cared for. Absolutely. And uh, you know, the other thing is we can send send alerts off to the loved ones as well. So it's not just within the institution, but the loved ones can can actually uh, monitor the the health of, of their parents or, or loved one in, in the community remotely. Very good. All right. And and lastly, give us a, a quick glimpse at the Intel Health Guide. Okay. So the Intel Health Guide is um, a remote um, device that allows clinicians to um, monitor a patient's uh, progress from their own home. So in the event that somebody's had, let's say, surgery, for example, um, we can uh, hand off the Health Guide. Um, the Health Guide can then monitor things like blood pressure, um, blood sugars, you can monitor weight all kinds of monitors that we can hook up to this, and it allows the patient to actually leave the hospital sooner, get home where they're comfortable, um, and have a direct connection back into the caregiver. So again, it's kind of a win-win. It's better for the caregivers. It frees up um, the bed and uh, drives down their costs. All the while, um, we're reducing return rates for patients having to go back into the hospital, and they're getting home earlier. So you know, again, everybody wins. Nice. Increasing efficiency and, uh, and ind independence all in one. So again, uh, I'm sorry, let's back up just for a second. The price point on the Quiet Care? Oh, I don't have the price point on the Quiet Care. This is um, actually 
through institutional sales for the for these two. Okay. So this will go direct to consumer. These two will, will back, actually go through institutional sales. Okay. So where can folks find out a little bit more about all these products? Yeah, if you want to get more information on the, the products in the company, you can go to careinnovations.com and uh, we'll have um, information about all three products in the company in general. Great. Thank you so much. This right. has been really helpful. Appreciate it. Thanks for giving us the information. So again, this is Carissa O'Brien uh, reporting live from the show floor at CES for the Tech Podcast Network.